Okay, if you can just uh, gather around this table. Over there. Over there. Mm, so Lex, you can you can be on the other side. So let me a little bit explain about this drill. Uh, one, this is very common drill that you can practice how to serve short underspin, and then also push short control, and push long, and loop and block. So it has everything that needs to be practiced. Okay, in the game. Uh, let me just go step by step why we design this drill. Okay, number one, the reason why we serve to the middle. It's very simple. If you put it over here, they don't need to move to play the shot. Therefore, they can come very easy. And you don't want them to have a chance to put it very short to your forehand, nor maybe they can already attack. So if he, if he is good at back and flicking, then you don't want to put it right there because he's going to flick it. So you want to make him move so that if he wants to do back and flick, he's out of position, high chance to miss. Okay, so in the middle, he has to move a little bit. Now second, if you serve short here, in the beginning, people don't have uh, many ways to attack this shot. And even for advanced player, it's very difficult to attack. And uh, the, uh, one of the most renowned players who does a lot of serve here with the reverse pendulum is Fan Zendong. Because he served there, whatever the other person does, he's ready to counter. Uh, and right now in the United States, the one who uses a lot of serve to the forehand short with reverse pendulum is Coley. Yeah, if you actually watch his game, he's very consistent. Um, I don't think he's like a very like fancy player who does like a, who uses speed a lot and footwork a lot, but he's very consistent in every single shot. And all he does in the first is here, he just gives one here. And even other players like over 2,500, like 2,600, they're tricked, whether it's underspin or topspin. And then they come push, Kole lose first, and he takes advantage of, from the serve. But anyway, their serve is later, later. If you put it here, the problem is when they come in and push short here, there's really good angle to go that way. So the one who serves actually have disadvantage to attack the next ball. So that's how you should return when the other person serves short here. For now. Uh, just try to just put it back here. Probably they cannot reach it. Okay, so it's giving less angle to go diagonal by putting it to the middle. Okay, so that's why you put it to the middle. And maybe they're confused. Oh, I don't know what, which push I want to do. It's like to the center. Um, second thing is when you push short, Every ball, there are three contact points, okay? When it's rising, when it's at the top, when it's falling. And when you loop, we recommend to hit it at the top because one, it has the best angle to attack. Two, the ball is slow. The ball is stopped, okay? So that's a really good point. You want to always catch this point. If not, the falling part is okay, but you shouldn't force yourself to catch when the ball is falling down too much. Okay, you may have more spin, but less speed because the ball is falling. But if you catch at the top, you can uh, put spin and power both together. So, when you put it short, which contact point should we catch? To drop it short. To drop the underspin serve short, at which contact should we contact the ball? No. Yeah, always early. You need to catch when it's rising. Why? If you put the pedal like push and the ball is rising, you don't even need to work hard to create underspin. It just creates underspin. But when the ball is at the top, now you need to work to get the underspin. And two, when you work hard, that means you're using a lot of energy, the ball goes further out. Therefore, you cannot keep it short. If you are keeping it short, probably you're just dropping it back. You cannot create good underspin and drop it short. Okay, so let's uh, give me just, uh, just regular underspin to the middle. So don't try to huh, catch here because that's going to go out. So they have time to return. I mean, loop. So possible. One, two. Okay, just use the ball's energy again. 
One, two. Uh -huh. Make sure it's two bounce or more. Okay? And second, and when you do that, you, the person dropped it short and to push it long with a lot of underspin. Now, we need to catch at the top of the bounce. So it's never good to actually push when the ball is falling. I mean, if you're late, you have to do it, but uh, you want to catch at the top, so let, let me show you. So do a little bit longer serve. So when the serve is long, it's actually hard to control to keep it short. Therefore, I actually want to give him like hard time by pushing it deep. Just give yourself more time, yeah. Just wait and push it long with like strong chop. Then you try to loop after serve. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what happens. So that's you're forcing to make him, you're forcing him to make error by giving very strong chop deep. Then if I do that, he realizes he cannot push. Then he will push it back. And one, he will miss. Two, if he if he returns, it's always no. Yeah. Okay, now the, the, the last part when you loop this four shot after the return and they push long. Is this, you actually have to plan ahead whether you're gonna use forehand loop or backhand loop. You cannot just stay and then when the ball comes, then decide. Okay, so the reason is this, because the zone is different. Once I push long and then if you know they're, they're, they're pushing long, then if you want to use forehand loop, stay close but more on the side. So after push, you should be here right away. Okay, if you're not here, you cannot use forehand loop. Second, if you want to use backhand loop, after you push, step back. Step back, don't stay close. So forehand is more here, stay here. Backhand is more here. So just give me a long push. Because if you want to do backhand loop and you're staying close, you end up catching the ball here. It's very difficult to make the backhand loop when the ball is rising. Okay, so anyway, even if I, in too long, I can wait to spin that. So you, you, do need, you do need space and then make the shot. Just need this space for the backhand loop. Therefore, when you, play, when you go into the game, you need to little bit plan, oh, the ball could come long, the ball could come short, but usually we start with the short play, with the underspin play, after you push, if you want to do backhand loop, step up. If they push over here, step in and loop. Okay, so you need to little bit think about uh, the next shot. Uh -huh. Which one to use, which one to use. Okay, let's play match. So keep practicing these two drills, the bow tie drill and the second and fourth shot. Uh, very important drill. <laughs>